Executive function is one of these broad umbrella concepts um, because it's defined behaviorally in terms of what it is that people do. What number comes after the number 10? It requires being able to keep information on mind. 11. Being able to remember the particular context, being able to think flexibly, and it requires being able to inhibit a tendency to do what one has done before. Executive functions are what you need when you have to concentrate, when things are difficult, when things are unusual, when things are changing. If you look at what predicts how well children will do later in school, more and more evidence is showing that executive functions actually predict success better than IQ tests. Typical traditional IQ tests measure what's called crystallized intelligence, which is mostly your recall of what you've already learned. What uh, executive functions tap is your ability to use what you already know, to be creative with it, to problem solve with it. Is it going to go down? So it's very related to fluid intelligence, because that requires reasoning and using information. If you ask teachers what it is that they think is the most important uh, determinant of whether or not children are going to perform well in the context of their classroom, they talk about children's ability to, uh, to pay attention and to control their behavior, and all the kinds of things that executive function in terms of this deliberate goal-directed problem-solving is important for. Executive functions involve the prefrontal cortex of the brain and several other brain regions that work in concert with the prefrontal cortex to make executive functions possible. This part of the brain is one of the last to develop, so executive functions emerge during the preschool years and into adulthood. They include a number of key aspects. There's working memory which is holding information in mind and working with it. Mm. How many? Ten. Ten. Cognitive flexibility, being able to think about something in a new light. There's no more T there. T He's replaced it with a H. Tell us the new word. Hall. Hall. Inhibitory control. So you want to inhibit distraction. There's also inhibition at the level of behavior. No. where you want to resist doing what might be your first impulse, but would not be the most appropriate or the best thing to do in, in that moment. Simon says, put your finger on your nose. Because inhibitory control and the other executive functions are so critical to learning, researchers are looking at ways to help children improve them. And while executive functions emerge on a developmental timetable in children, their use must be promoted. In this example of promoting executive functions in a developmentally appropriate way, Adele Diamond of the University of British Columbia shows a child a picture of the sun and asks him to say night when he sees it. This task is used to assess executive functions. When she shows him a picture of the moon, he should say day or morning. What do you say when you see this? Day. Yes. And what do you say when you see this? Night. Yes. Day. The little boy is going on automatic and making mistakes. Morning. Night. He was rushing himself. Morning. He wasn't taking the time he needed. Morning. But giving him time to stop and think helps. So what I did was to sing this little ditty. Think about the answer, don't tell me. You might think that it's interference, but instead it gives him the time to figure out the answer. Now can you tell me? What do you say? Mm-hmm. Morning. Think about the answer. Don't tell me now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Night.